Hi guys, welcome to the unboxing and quick review of this Ecoi Smoke Detector. The listing on Amazon says Ecoi Smoke Detector interconnected wireless fire alarm with built in lithium battery and anti insect net 10 years fire safety with silence function and low battery warning. And the model type is FJ111BH01. Wow, what a name! Uh, that's the two pieces set. Uh, it was around, I think, $39. There's a one piece uh, thing, like a single one, for around $23. Here we have the description. Some more here on the box. Yeah, you have to be always a little bit careful. This is 10 year uh, battery runtime. I've seen many batteries which have been causing like false alerts or have been uh, saying a yeah, battery is down after just a couple of years. So here we have it. Let's see what we get in the box. So here we have these smoke detectors uh, regarding interconnected what it means. From what I can see it means just they are connected to each other. They have some connection and when one goes off in one room both or as many as you have you can buy a lot of them and then they will all be interconnected and all will emit the alarm. This can be very helpful especially when yeah, the uh, smoke or the fire is starting in a very remote room and uh, you wouldn't hear the alarm from there like in a basement or so this can be really helpful so here we have them they are a little bit thicker maybe than the thinnest ones but still quite okay i would say yeah here's the lid just coming off let's see how this works with the battery interconnection and everything by the way of course we get some installation material and then also some instructions i don't know if you can see anything it's very very small printed and here we have a little bit more yeah i hope you can see that just go on to the highest resolution put it on post on every page and hopefully you will see everything but i'm going to read uh, the manual and then i'm going to show you how we can connect them to each other so here is how it works or at least i think it works by the way here we have the most important information we have the activation then we have the connect to uh, the smoke alarms or connect the smoke alarms and here we have the reset so that's actually everything what we need by the way here we have the mount and yeah this can be mount i mean using the screws somewhere here so first we have to turn them on and we can either use a screwdriver and move this uh, black switch to the right side or we can use this mounting plate and uh, like use it like like we get it in the box uh, something like that and switch or like turn it to the right side and then we should see this uh, red light here probably same thing here when we move it to the right side yeah there was the red light i have seen that so what we have to do yeah this, this is at the front here and we have to make one as the master and one as the dependent if you have more we, we still make the same as the master and we connect more to the same master here if you have more and we start always to connect with the master we press three times very fast and then we should see some blinking light red and blue and then we press the one which we want to connect also three times so let's see we see some green light there should be a red and then green yeah there was red and green and looks like they are connected what we see we see still the blue probably indicating that's the most it looks like this is very easy now to test yeah now we can see a difference yeah, I've been watching these uh, fire alarms for a little bit or smoke alarms for a little bit. It looks like they are independently uh, flashing maybe every 45 seconds or so indicating that they still have enough battery. So to test we can push one of them, doesn't matter, for a couple of seconds and then it should activate the alarm and all of them should blink twice uh, per second with a red LED by the way, regarding the decibel, the instruction says that 
uh, it is emitting an 85 decibel alarm. If there's something here, we see 285 decibel, that would almost be uh, deadly 285 decibel as far as I know. There's nothing uh, so loud as 285 decibel. That's definitely an error here. What's uh, interesting for me to see, I mean, uh, since I've removed, it's automatically deactivated. And when I put this back, it should automatically turn the thing on again. Uh, it will be interesting to see if it automatically reconnects. So I have my earplugs and uh, so I'm pushing now for a couple of seconds. Let's see what happens. Okay. Uh, yeah, that was short, at least that. Now we should see a, a red flashing on this one. Yeah, okay, it looks like I removed the earplugs. <laughs> so I prevent from uh, sounding a little bit weird, hopefully. So, yeah, okay, we pressed here and we see the blinking. And I guess when we do it here, we would see that on the other side. I mean, we can also confirm it on any of them. That's the good thing. So don't ask me how it would be in uh, real life and we have a real alert, but uh, I guess probably it would be emitting uh, this huge sound everywhere. This is probably just like the test with the LED. Let's push here to see if we can turn this thing off. Yeah, I should actually turn this uh, thing off. Do we have to turn it off here? That would be weird. Yeah, that was a little bit strange. So let's make it vice versa. Yeah, it was also very hard to hear uh, where the sound was coming from, but I guess the sound was coming from both of them. It's good to, to have just a very short uh, sound uh, while testing. So it looks like on all the devices which are connected we have this blinking light except from the one which we have been pressing and when we push here we have to wait for a little bit and then it will turn off I think. Uh, if I'm correct you can do this just with one of them and all of them will uh, stop flashing. I think it's anyway just for five minutes you could uh, leave that so you have enough time to check on all of them. So it looks like connecting handling is pretty easy. Most of it really automatically especially the turn on turn off after mounting it and just screwing it in. So it looks like it's as easy as it gets and I would say uh, uh, so far I can give you a full recommendation on that and I'll put down the link to the Amazon listing down into the description so you can check it out and order it from there if you like it. And I hope I've been able to help you a little bit with this video. If you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below and I'm always happy to talk about these things. And if you like the video give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, thanks for watching and see you next time.